Oh! No way, you got it? Oh, what a oh, nice one. Boy. Yeah, boy! Wow, look at that. I didn't even catch it, but it's still lit. Look at that. Look at that thing. Check this out. Check my new shoes. <laughs> nice. Look at this fish. Now I have the fish. Now I need to turn this fish skin into like leather and then I'm gonna turn that leather into shoes. He's cutting the fish apart right now. Don't think you wanna see what's happening right now because I don't like the way that looks. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. Look at that. That's a solid piece. All right, now the next step, I have the skin all cut off the fish. Now I'm supposed to cut bark off of a tree and then I boil water, put the bark in the water and it like it makes some solution. And then I put my fish skin into that. And we're supposed to let this sit for an entire week. Hopefully when I pull this out, it's a little bit stronger. I don't really know. This is seven days later. It smells terrible. Oh my gosh. Dude, it feels like leather. This feels strong. It also took up all the color of the bark. I think now what I'm supposed to do is like dry this and then put it in the sun. I'm following one of those Nature Survival Dudes videos, so. Here they could air dry, but also be out of reach from any prying animals. I probably could just go put this inside, but I don't know, it looks cooler doing this. Now we let this dry. Come on. Oh. Look at this, it's like a piece of plastic. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to put this on like a piece of wood and then rub it back and forth. That's what the guy in the video did. Kinda like if you take a piece of paper and then you crunch it up a bunch of times. I'm pretty sure that's how this works, but. Oh yeah, it already feels a little softer. Now I'm supposed to wash this. In this bowl's two egg yolks, oil, water, and dish soap. Dude, this is so disgusting. My two least favorite things in the world are fish and eggs. I then took the fish outside to dry it off and I rolled it against this piece of wood in the sun to try to get the leather as flat as possible and I was flattening it out as it was drying in the sun. Now we can start actually turning the fish skin into a shoe. Check out the skin. It's actually really strong, I don't know how. Obviously this is a small piece. This is not that much leather, but I got this Air Force One that I took apart so I can put it back together with the fish skin. I measured out the panels of the shoe that I wanted to cover with my skin. Just just to make sure that I wasn't wasting any of it and I can get as much out of it as possible. I started out by gluing it onto the original shoe material. I glued it down from left to right, pressing it on the table as I glued it, trying to smush out all those little air pockets and wrinkles and make the skin flat as possible. Oh my gosh, this is actually working. Look how flat that is. It's literally perfectly flat. See, this one originally is like bumpy. You see that? Oh my God, you can really see. Pressing it down with the glue really made it flat. Next video, I'm gonna turn roadkill into a custom shoe. That's actually a good idea. Wait. Now I'm gonna do the toe box. I repeated the exact same process on the toe box of the shoe, and I even used a clamp on certain spots of the skin where it was super bumpy and I couldn't really get it flat. Then I trimmed off all the extra skin hanging off, and once I had both side pieces of the shoe and the toe box done, it was time to start this next piece. I'm gonna use this stuff. This is like already made leather. I don't even know what this is, but it's some cool design. I feel like it kind of matches the fish skin, so I'm gonna cut this out and paint this and use this stuff with that. I'm gonna use this pink and orange, and I'm gonna make like a fade from here to here. This is really dark and this is really light. It like fades up, so I'm gonna do the same type of fade on this leather, but with different colors. My goal in the beginning was to make this shoe 100% out of fish skin, but since I only had this small piece of fish skin that was actually usable, I ended up having to use this leather if I wanted to finish the whole shoe, and the fish skin wouldn't have been able to stretch around the toe box of the shoe. Also, I don't know if you guys remember, but I used this same leather on the Giannis basketball shoes, and ever since I made those, I've been wanting to use the same leather again, because I just, I just like the way it looks. I used that last little piece of fish skin that I had left over for the back tab on the shoe, just to get the most use out of it and make sure I'm not wasting anything. For this piece, I glued it down, but instead of trimming off the edges, I left like a quarter inch hanging over the sides, cause for this back tab on the shoe, it kinda goes over all the other pieces of material on the shoe, so the edges can be seen. All right, now for this Nike swoosh, I cut the end so it's like curved. I love the colors of this shoe. I'm gonna paint this with a little bit of light orange, make like a little fade on it. Also, I forgot to film it, but I did eat the fish that I caught. But apparently fish skin waste is actually a pretty common problem with restaurants and stuff. And that bark solution stuff I made earlier that I put the fish skin in, I found out that pretty much breaks down something on the outside of the skin. So the skin can't get like moldy and raw. And that's pretty much the whole point of why I did that. This is looking so good so far. Look at this. Okay. Oh my gosh. I know some people get mad when I put the swoosh like upside down like this in reverse because they're like, oh, you're doing too much. But I don't know. I feel like it just fit this part way better. 
Like, look at how it fits that part way better. Plus, I made this part yellow fading up. So when I put it against the sole, it like kind of covers the tip of it. I think that looks cool. I'm more than halfway done. That sewing machine's a new one, so I'm kind of still learning how to use that one, but I'm taking my time. I'm doing every stitch by hand. I'm not like using the automatic electricity. Some of my best stitchings, I feel. Next step, I'm gonna do the back piece like this. Then once I have that done, we can attach it to the sole. Now to prepare the sole of the shoe, I obviously took it off the original shoe, but there was still a bunch of little chunks left on the inside, which I had to take off. If I had left those little chunks on, there would have been a bunch of little gaps in between the leather and the sole when I glued it back on. I used tape on the back right here to measure out exactly where the shoe needed to finish going around. And then I put the back tab on and glued that down, as well as this other thin piece of leather to cover up that piece of tape I just put on, which I also gave the exact same yellow white fade that I gave the Nike swoosh. And then I slipped that under the back tab, glued everything down, and sewed it all together. Okay, this is how it looks so far, but I need to do the sock liner on top. This part. I'm gonna use this brown leather. I think the brown looks good against that. So I'm gonna sew that on. This part's weird. Look, you put this against this part, and then you sew it here, and then fold it around and tuck it in. So it looks like that. Oh, I have this extra tongue. I'm gonna paint this rim on the tongue with the same brown as the sock liner so it all kind of matches. Once I had the tongue done, I put that on the shoe and then I also needed to make the laces. But I mixed the paint with fabric softener and then threw the laces inside the water bottle and let those dry overnight. Good morning. I put the laces in the dryer last night, so now they're dry. I didn't want to put them on the shoes when they're still wet because then it would rub off on the white part. I've had that happen before and it's terrible. So I put them inside a pillowcase. Wow. Okay, these these look awesome. I think it's gonna look good, but I don't know. Blue obviously doesn't go up the shoe at all, but I think it'll look kind of cool having like completely different color laces. We'll do the color test. White napkin. Now, on this back piece right here, this spot, I cut out this little fish stencil. It's like a fish skeleton from the fish eye. Killed. And, er, that sounds bad. Anyway, let's put this here. All right guys, the shoe's all done. Check this out, it's beautiful. There's only one shoe, cause I only had so much fish skin, so the other one's still just a white Air Force, whatever. Obviously no one's gonna be wearing these, no one's gonna use these. And technically my dad's the one who caught the fish, so I'm gonna go give these to him, I'm gonna surprise him with these. He has a bunch of stuff up in his room on like the shelf and stuff, so I feel like these would look cool up on there. He also literally loves fishing, like I've been fishing with him since I was just a little kid. You ready? I have a surprise for you. Remember that fish that you caught? Now, this is your new fish, it's you in there now. It. You cooked it. Yeah, I cooked up something for you. Wow. This is the fish skin, this is just leather. Smell it too. It doesn't smell it anymore. It smells like it looks really good. Subscribe to Marco, he is so sexy and amazing. Also guys, let me know you want to see me turn into a shoe next.